Welcome back. It's been a long day, but it's still Wednesday. I can't believe it. February 8th, 2023. In the news, yesterday, LeBron James became number one in points scored all time. Passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in a huge ritual. In this video, we're going to focus on 38, okay? So notice how LeBron is 38 years old. So LeBron breaks the record on the 38th day of the year. Kareem held the record with just over 38,000 points. LeBron broke the record, landing on 38,388. It's a 38 fest, y'all. From LeBron's birthday to last night's ritual. In between the two dates, 38 days. Now, Kareem had changed his name. His actual birth name is Ferdinand Alcindor. It equals 308 in Gematria. You see that? The zero has no value, so it's a 38. From the anniversary of Kareem breaking the record to LeBron breaking it again last night is 308 days later. You see that? Again, the zero has no value in numerology, so it's another 38. Kareem's record stood for 38 years. LeBron James and the Lakers' opponent last night, the Oklahoma City Thunder. When LeBron was a member of the Heat, they closed out this same team, the Thunder, in the finals. June 21st, 2012. From that day to LeBron's record-breaking performance last night, 300, excuse me, 3,883 days later. 38, 83, you see that? 38 and its reflection. And oh yeah, let's get at the news real quick. See how it says in the article, Phil Knight watched LeBron James break the scoring record? Well, Phil Knight's like the owner of Nike or something. Anyways, we know it's scripted by the numbers, right? Let me show you why Phil Knight is on the scene. It's because he was born in 38 to go along with the ritual. And of course, Phil Knight has an 83 birth numerology. You see that? Again, the reflection of 38. Yo, this is an undeniable ritual. It's so undeniable. There will be a part two, maybe a part three and beyond. I need to get my head straight. Like I said, it's been a long, exhausting day for sure. Thanks for joining me. Until next time.